Who invented glasses? As in who first put lenses in front of their eyes to see better? Also, who invented sunglasses? The history of glasses is super interesting and has some twists involving monks, walruses, and gladiators. I'll break down the history of both normal glasses and sunglasses, showing how these devices evolved over thousands of years. Over 4 billion people now wear glasses to help them see better. The first documented case of using technology to help somebody see better happened around the year 40 of the current era, so around 2,000 years ago. This was the Roman philosopher Seneca using a glass globe filled with water to magnify text, making it easier to read. I consider this more of an honorable mention since the globe wasn't up on his face like a pair of glasses, but it was the first documented case of using optical technology to improve vision. But the Italians were onto something because the first wearable eyeglasses were invented in the 13th century by Italian monks. You might not think of monks when you think of technology and innovation, but back in the 13th century, most people couldn't read. Besides the insanely rich, monks made up most of the literate people at the time, as they were reading religious texts and copying those texts over and over by hand. Monasteries often had workshops where simple lenses were crafted from quartz or blown glass. These early glasses used convex lenses in a wood or iron frame, but those glasses didn't have the temples or the side arms that go over your ears that we're used to now. The first glasses were used specifically to help farsighted people read more easily. Tons of people become farsighted as you get older because of an eye condition called presbyopia. That's where the lens in your eye that changes its shape to help you adjust your focus becomes less flexible over time, so you're no longer able to shift your focus for things up close to you. Next in the evolution of glasses was the spread of glasses throughout Europe in the 14th century. They spread from the Italian monks to places like France and Germany. Paintings from this period started showing scholars and religious figures wearing these early glasses. Glass blowing was starting to become really big in Venice at this time, making a lot of the lenses used in all of these glasses around Europe. But there was a sharp increase in the use of glasses in the year 1440 because of the invention of the printing press. Books, newspapers, and all kinds of writing were flying out of the presses and had a huge impact on society. With lots of new people learning to read, they were squinting at tiny text for the first time and started looking for glasses. And glasses at this time were still just used for helping farsighted people read and see what's close to them. Farsightedness is where you can see things further away pretty well, but it's things up close to you that are super blurry. But that changed in the year 1451 when Nicholas of Cusa developed concave lenses that correct for nearsightedness which is when you're okay at seeing things up close to you, but it's things further away that are blurry. 40% of adults now are nearsighted, so this is a super common vision error and it was great to have glasses for this now. A whole different group of people now had access to technology that helped them see the world better. Glasses were still primarily used in Europe at this time, but from the 15th to 17th centuries, European missionaries and traders spread glasses to the Middle East and Asia. Japanese samurai even began wearing glasses as a symbol of sophistication and learning in the 17th century. So the samurai were really just wearing glasses to look cool. But in 1727, the side pieces, the temples that go over your ears, were finally added to glasses by the British optician Edward Scarlett. So glasses really started to look like what we think of as glasses now, and they became a lot more stable and comfortable. Before that, glasses were just balanced on your nose or secured in place using ribbons. And now, we're headed to America. In 1784, Benjamin Franklin invented bifocal lenses, combining a higher power lens at the bottom for reading with a lower power lens at the top for distance vision. This was a pretty big innovation that helped people with presbyopia, and people now no longer needed two pairs of glasses for different things, like one for reading and one for more distance vision, and one pair of bifocals helped them do two of those things well. But 40% of people have astigmatism that affects their vision, and that's where your eye is asymmetric. It's curved more in one way versus another, so it bends light differently in perpendicular directions. 
Throughout all of the history we talked about so far, glasses didn't really address astigmatism, so there was no help for that. But in 1827, an English astronomer and mathematician named Sir George Biddle Airy invented glasses for astigmatism that are curved differently in perpendicular directions. This is a lens for astigmatism, and as I rotate it, you can see that the curvature changes. Its thickness and the curvature of the lens change in perpendicular directions. Glasses continued to evolve after that with the introduction of things like aspheric lenses to better correct for errors while making the lenses thinner, and progressive lenses, which built on Ben Franklin's bifocals to help people see well in a lot of different situations. So that's the history of normal glasses, but the history of sunglasses is a lot crazier than I assumed it would be. Prehistoric populations in the Arctic, like the Inuit people, crafted snow goggles from walrus ivory. They had narrow slits in them that reduced glare from sunlight reflecting off of the snow. This is the earliest known use of something like sunglasses to protect your eyes from the sun. But in ancient Rome, the emperor Nero watched gladiator fights through emerald lenses. Besides just showing off how insanely rich he was, historians believe that this reduced glare from the sun in the big open gladiator arenas. And judges in 12th century China wore flat planes of smoky quartz over their eyes. But these were used for a completely different reason. Rather than blocking sunlight, Chinese judges wore these smoky sunglasses so that people couldn't see their eye expressions. No one would know what they were feeling, and that helped keep things in the court feel impartial. They just wanted to keep a good poker face. There isn't much documented sunglasses history after that until a big jump to Venice in the 18th century, where people would wear framed tinted glass over their eyes to protect them from glare, sunlight bouncing off of water in the Venetian canals. And in 1752, British optician James Ayscough experimented with tinted lenses, like lenses with blue and green tints. But he also wasn't trying to block sunlight. He believed that these tinted lenses could help with different eye conditions. There are a lot of reports that amber and brown tinted glasses were used to help with syphilis symptoms in the 19th and 20th centuries, as light sensitivity is a symptom of the disease. In 1885, there was a report of Egyptian soldiers using tinted glass eye protectors, which sound like they'd be really useful in sunny Egypt. And in the 1800s, people first started using tinted glasses to protect them from UV rays. So they were first learning that that kind of sunlight exposure could be bad for your eye health, and UV protective glasses could keep your eyes healthier. Sunglasses continued to spread all across the world, and in 1938, Life magazine wrote that sunglasses were a new fad taking over the US. Polarized sunglasses first showed up in 1936. These really help reduce glare by blocking the specific type of light that's much more likely to reflect off of flat surfaces like roads, the hood of a car, or a body of water. I'll link to a video all about polarized sunglasses so you can learn more about that if you're interested. Thanks a lot, and please subscribe if you found this interesting.